So we've come over to this property today. We are in, where are we? Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Um, and this is a property where this client is building his solar system in stages. So what he's already had installed is a Give Energy all-in-one. So this is the battery that's got the gateway with the full home backup. It's 13.5 kilowatt hours. And what the client's been doing is charging the battery up at night on a cheap tariff and then using that energy throughout the day. Now, what we're doing today is we're going to add solar panels to this client's system. So what it's going to do is going to put eight panels on the front of his property. That's going to come off the roof. I'm not going to be able to wire it into the Give Energy all-in-one. Now, that's an AC coupled system. We're going to go through what that means in a minute. But what we're going to do is add some PV generation so we can charge the battery from the PV and just top it up at night. So after filming that intro, we've just arrived and we've just realized we're actually testing something brand new on this property today. And this is camouflage scaffolding. So if you just pan around there, what you'll notice, you can't actually see the scaffolding. And that's because the scaffold has let us down, hasn't turned up. So the office are arranging some now. We think we found someone. They're gonna be here in about an hour's time. This happens from time to time. It's super frustrating. If you are a reliable scaffolder, then please reach out to the channel. Cool, so we're in the garage. We just wanted to run you through what an AC coupled battery system is. We were talking about charging the battery at night. So this originally, I think this has been in for about a year and it's been a battery only system. So if you come over here, this is the gateway. So this is the customer's fuse board for their house. And that's been supplied from the grid. Interrupting that is this unit here. So this has got um, the battery connected to it. It does have, um, a breaker for the PV we're going to put in and it's got the load in the grid side so basically if the power drops where we are here it's pretty rural so the power does drop this kicks in and powers the home from the battery and what this customer has been doing is charging the battery up on an overnight cheap tariff and that's been powering his home the battery is down here so if you come down here because we're on the top of the hill and we are it basically gets freezing up here the snow can be like two or three foot it gets pretty cold in this garage so the customer has put the battery here you can see it yeah and he's wrapped it up in this tank jacket the reason you do that is when batteries get cold like evs they slow down or sometimes they can switch off so even though it's in a garage because of where it is and it's so exposed here the temperature can drop to like minus 10 and that will shut down so we just got it in a little jacket but what's interesting about this is that if this sort of system demonstrates you can do your renewable journey in stages so this client's been charging his battery off the grid saving loads of money using that cheap overnight energy, and now we're gonna add the PV in, he's gonna get even more generation, which means he needs to buy less from the grid. But what he's been able to do is do it in stages, and you can get 0% VAT on batteries now. So previously, you would have had to have paid VAT to have a battery-only system installed. That's changed of about February 2020, no, the end of last year, 2023, so there's no VAT to pay, so it's made it even more affordable. Okay, so cavalry has arrived 12 minutes early. This is Clayton Scaffolding from Rosendale who've turned up within an hour and a half of us realizing the scaffolding wasn't gonna to come today. They've arrived, they're gonna get it up. What the guys have done in the meantime, rather than just standing around and wasting the day, we've actually pretty much done most of the electrics in the garage. So we've even got the cable from the roof down through the property into the garage, the subboard's on, the envoy's on, the generation meter's going on. We've got something to cover on that in a minute. So we're thinking half an hour-ish, something like that, scaffolding will be up. The electrics will be done and it's going to be jumping on the roof and we'll go and take a look on there when we get the rails on and get these REA Fusion 2 panels installed. Okay, so the install is now finished. It's live, four o'clock, so timings were absolutely perfect. Scaffolders got us out of a, a bit of a sticky situation there and we got it done in time. So system is currently on and working. We're producing about a kilowatt, which is pretty impressive because 
It's pretty miserable out there. We tried to use the drone to get some footage, but it's so windy, the drone's just blowing around. So we thought we'd just take you over the install here. So to cover it off, this is the Envoy. This is the piece of equipment that Enphase talks to that's gonna be giving you all the readings on your smartphone or on your desktop. And you've got some indication lights on here. We've got our sub mains. We've got a generation meter. Now I mentioned earlier on about the generation meters. For any installers that are watching this video, we had our annual MCS reassessment yesterday and our assessor from NAPIT told us that you no longer need to fit generation meters on solar PV jobs if you've got a piece of equipment that will actually record the generation itself. We've put one on here because we bought it and it was just, we weren't going to take it back. Okay, the other thing that we've done is we've put the supply into the Give Energy all-in-one. So early on, we were mentioning about the fact that the Give Energy all-in-one has the ability to read PV. So how we've wired this system is we've brought a four mil off the roof into this sub mains, and then we've taken a feed from the sub mains into the Give Energy breaker here on the PV. And this comes pre-wired with a CT clamp around this PV breaker. So you can view your solar generation in your Give Energy app. But more importantly, what you can do is now this client can charge this battery from his solar system. So right now there's an indicator on the Give Energy battery system, if you ever have one. So this is showing right now that the battery and the load are being taken care of by the solar and the PV. Uh, so the solar PV rather is taking care of the load and the battery is also charging from the property. There's nothing coming from the grid. So even on a day like this, there's nothing coming from the grid. So it's all set up, it's all working. We're gonna put some shots on now of the system on the roof. What we wanted to sort of point out really is what this has really demonstrated is that you can do systems on a modular basis now. Now that the VAT has gone on batteries, if you wanna start with either solar first, you have your solar system installed and you wanna add a battery later on, you need to be considering if you're gonna do it that way around, which inverter you're gonna fit, but we can give you advice on that. Or maybe you wanna put a battery only in first, like this AC coupled Give Energy, and then later on you can add the PV as this customer has done today. This was already here, we didn't install this Give Energy all in one, this was installed by someone else but it's all functioning and we've been able to wire the end phase and integrate it into that single ecosystem we thought we'd just show you this um, this is the back end of the end phase monitoring platform for the solar pv of this installation now this is a really handy tool What's great about Enphase is you can see every single panel's individual performance. And if you've got a problem with a panel, or maybe a panel's underperforming, it's easy to identify the issue on this software. Obviously, if you have a standard system, you're not gonna see that. All you're gonna see is the combined production value. You wouldn't even see a layout of your panels like this. You're just gonna see what it's doing at that moment in time. What we wanted to show you here was in 42 days of complete generation between the 22nd of March and the 2nd of May, this system did 431 kilowatt hours. Now, the reason that number on the right hand side down here is a little bit higher is because the system went live at about four o'clock on the 21st of March. And obviously today I've excluded because it's only halfway through the day and therefore it's not really fair because we're trying to work out what it's producing per day. 431 kilowatt hours. If we divide that by 42 days, this array, it's only eight panels and it's averaging 10.2 kilowatt hours of production per day from just eight panels. Now, if you divide that by the eight panels, you can get to a panel level production of about 1.3 kilowatt hours per panel. Where this is really impressive is this property is actually facing 50 degrees away from south. So this is the actual orientation. So north at the top, south at the bottom. This array actually faces the east, uh, well, the southeast. So the sun would rise over here, come round, and set on this side but obviously by the time the sun sort of gets to about the 12 o'clock position the amount of light hitting those panels is going to dramatically reduce 
The reason we're able to produce so much energy is these are very high efficient, high performance panels. It's also paired with the end phase microinverters. Now these are able to activate in very low light and very low voltages, which means our system can stay on and it can keep producing. So I just thought that was really interesting to show you that even if you've got a small array like this, eight panels, you can still produce a whole load of energy and even if your roof doesn't face the ideal way. So we hope that was a useful video in showing you how you can have your system modular if you're going to install renewables in your property. Now, interestingly on Heatable in the next couple of weeks or maybe if you're watching this it might already be live we're actually got a battery only offering where you can go online and you can just buy a battery like this give energy all in one or a Tesla Powerwall you can buy that online first have that installed and if you later want to add one of our AC coupled solar systems then you can do that alternatively if you've already got PV and you're looking to add a battery to it then you can go onto the website and get a quote to have one installed.